Hello friends, this is lesson 5 of Big Data Hadoop with Python and today's lesson we are going to cover the following topics. First we will be discussing the different types of Hadoop installation and then we will be configuring Sodo Hadoop distributed environment or cluster. Let's start with the first topic here. So Hadoop installation types, there are three types of Hadoop installation friends if we have Hadoop version 2. So the first type is called standalone installation. So if you are using or installing Hadoop and creating standalone environment, so what will happen there, all Hadoop services are running in a single JVM Java virtual machine. So all the services like we have name node, data node, resource manager, data manager, all these services will be running in a single JVM. So another point is here, local file system is used for storing data not HDFS. So the main component of Hadoop which is HDFS used for storing the data that will not be used here. Instead, local file system will be used for that purpose. Another point here what we have is MapReduce jobs run with a single mapper and reducer. So here we have only a single mapper and single reducer while using MapReduce jobs. In another point, so the model is best suited for developers to run their code. So this type of installation is better for those who are practicing or for those who are like the developers for testing and running their code before applying it on fully distributed environment. So let's see the second type of installation. So the second type of installation is called Sodo distributed installation. So Sodo distributed installation is actually, it is a real multi-mode cluster simulation. So it is actually a simulation of fully distributed environment, but on a single server. Just we are creating a simulation or we can say a virtual environment of fully distributed environment on a single server. We don't have multiple nodes or we don't have multiple servers. We have only a single server, but the environment is created such that we are using or we are working with fully distributed environment. So all services are configured here as fully distributed, but all the diamonds, I mean the services will be running on a single server. Like we have name node, data node, resource manager, data manager and secondary name node. All these services will be running on a single server. You cannot configure data replication or high availability because here we have only a single server. So you cannot have like more, more number of replications. Only one replication will be there. So high availability of data is not there because we have only a single server. Now let's go to the third type of installation of Hadoop. So the third type of installation is nothing bad. It is fully distributed installation. So if you are doing this, it means you are creating the real environment or working with real environment of Hadoop. So here what will happen, this is the real Hadoop environment. Hadoop is installed on a set of servers. So we have here multiple servers, not a single node or server. You can configure Hadoop with data replication. Here we have data replications because we have multiple servers and data high availability is there. Here you, you have diamonds for each process and the diamonds run on multiple servers. As we discussed before here, all the diamonds were running on a single server. Like we have name node, data node, all these server, uh, services were running on a single server but here we have multiple servers some of them will be running on the master nodes and some of them will be running on worker nodes like here the name node will be running on the master node resource manager will be running on the master node but data node will be running on the worker node if we have created fully distributed environment now in this case since we don't have multiple servers here we have only one PC or one server. So instead of uh, in this one fully distributed environment, we will go for creating a pseudo 
Hadoop distributed cluster. So how can we do that? In this type of installation, you will have only HDFS in your. While we are configuring pseudo distributed cluster, by default, we will be having only HDFS in your. These two are the main components of Hadoop. These two will be installed by default. So you can run any, any map reduce application you want. This is the advantage. It is not like uh, standalone and standalone. If you remember, there we have only one single mapper and single reducer, but here we can have any number of mapper and reducers. So it is the same as fully distributed, but it is just uh, like virtual, or we can say it is the simulation of this one. If you want to work with Spark, Hive, Pig like this, so you have to install them manually because they, they will not be installed. Uh, whenever we are installing the Hadoop so if you want to work on them so you have to install them separately okay let's start the installation of Soro Hadoop distributed cluster so for that what we have to do let's see here and follow the steps one by one then you will better understand the first step is here friends you have to install the Java as we installed the Java earlier in, in last tutorial if you remember we installed the GDK why we are installing the GDK the reason I told you because here the Hadoop itself is written in it is written in Java that is why we have to first create the environment for that and for creating the environment we need to, we need to install the GDK Java uh, Java development kit that was required and that we did in last tutorial and just we will be checking here what the version of that whether it is installed and the version is shown or not so first I will open the terminal by clicking Control alt and T so we have the terminal here yeah I will just check the version whether it is already installed or not yeah I will type Java then version yeah it is showing me here the version of that you have already installed the java version gdk and that is 1.8 and here it is also showing me 64 bit server virtual machine is there right now what we have to do uh, before installing hadoop we have to create a group here so uh, for creating group what I have to do here, this is a simple command we have to run and like sodo add group and I say Hadoop. The name of group is Hadoop. So it is asking for the password. I will provide the password so the group is created. Now within this group, I want to create a user. So how can we do that? Is it just by using like sodo add user within this group? What is the name of group Hadoop and what is the name of user you want to create I say HD user so you create this user within Hadoop group so it is asking for the password for this user I will give a simple password one two three so again I will re retype the password so one two three these are extra information about the user if you want to type you can type it otherwise you simple uh, simply press the enter button so here you press Y and that user is also created. The third step you have to follow is and that is you make the user server. So why we are doing this because we will be creating the folder files and we will be running there some of the files executing the programs there. If it is not server so it will be not given the permission. So that is why we have to convert this user to sudo user and that will be simple just by running this command sudo add user what is the name of user hd user and i say you make this sudo so that now the user hd user is our sudo user now we can connect our user and create their directories and we can execute some files also and fourth step is uh, now we will connect to our user and we'll go to this directory user local in there i want to create a directory or a folder called Hadoop so how can we do this the same here 
first we have to use switch user what is the name of our user it is hd user and now it is asking for the password the password was one two three so now we are in that user so if i want to come to the home directory so just by typing the cd forward slash it will come here now i say cd you go to user and then you go to local now you are here if i list these are the directories what we have already but i want to create a new directory which is called hadoop so how can we do that sudo make directory and i give the name as hadoop now it is asking for the password the password is one two three so ls now hadoop folder is or directory is created right now what we have to do let's follow the the next step here the next step is installing SSH. So what is this SSH? It is nothing but secure shell and it is a network protocol used to connect remote machines or clients. So whenever we are creating sodo distributed environment, there will be like uh, multiple users if you want. So these users, if they want to connect to the server, we have to use this protocol. So requires SSH to manage its nodes, maybe local or remote to the machine. Since maybe you are asking, it is a single node Hadoop. So why do we need or configure an SSH? So that is because if you want to access local host, it is required to configure SSH. And SSH has two main components. That is SSH and SSH D. So by default, whenever you are installing uh, a Linux environment or you, you are installing Linux operating system, then this one will be pre-enabled. But in order to enable this one, we have to run again this. So this one will be also enabled. This one is SSH diamonds. It means the server, this is the service will be running on the server and allowing the remote computers to access the server. This is the diamonds or the service. So how can we do that? Just by running this command. I will copy it and paste it here. Yeah, it is done. Now, if I want to see the component, I will say, okay, which SSH, it is showing me the directory. And I want to say, which SSH, HD so it is yeah both are configured and they are active now so I will clear the screen friends okay I'm here now what we have to do we have to allow the users and give the certificate like for the, this user uh, to access that how can we do this uh, so I created I'm already in this user I will just use this one here I will take the copy and paste it here yeah you just press yes it was already there it is saying yes it is overwritten and now you just copy this one and paste it there so if you want to come to home directory yeah, i'm already here so i will paste it here and run it yeah it is done so now in order to check whether it is working or not what we have to do you just type ssh localhost whether it is giving us the path or not yeah i will say ssh local local host yeah see it is giving us all this information it means it is ready now so i will clear the screen and now we'll start hadoop installation in order to install Hadoop, what we have to do first, uh, first we have to like download Hadoop uh, files or Hadoop uh, setup where from where you want to install it. So you have to provide like you use this command we get and here you provide the full path from where you want to download it. So since I have already downloaded and it is there and in the desktop, so I'm not downloading it. I will just browse to desktop and just extract the files by using tar command here sodo tar x v z f and this is the version of hadoop i'm using here 
so for that what I have to do I will go to the desktop I will say okay CD uh, like I say home sorry local yeah I'm here and I say exit so here I say switch CD chain directory and I say here go to home home of which user that is my this user and then I want to go to its desktop so here if I see no, it is not SH it is CD chain directory so I am here if I say ls it is there yeah I have it here so just by using this command it will be all the files will be extracted so I will run here yeah I will say extract yeah all the files are extracted now if I list the files see here I have another folder this is the zip folder and these are the extracted files here so I have to connect this one first uh, sorry I will change the directory and go to this directory I say CD you go to Hadoop and now I am within this folder what I have to do I have to copy all the files what we have here inside like these are the files inside this folder I want to copy all these files where I have to move it all to the folder which which we have already created and our HD user here I created a folder if you remember this one sudo make directory Hadoop so I want to move all the files from this top from that folder to that directory to this directory so for that I will be copying this one since I'm already within that folder I will just use see here I will paste it here what I say I say within this folder these are the files you move all those files to that directory to our HD user and within that local we have already created a folder called Hadoop you move the files there so the files are moved to that directory so this much is completed now what I'm clearing the, the screen and coming to the this one so I will clear the screen what we have to do now it is the time to configure the setup so configuration of this sudo distributed environment friends it is uh, a little bit tricky you have to be careful and these are the six files we have to edit so the first file is this one bash file and then we have to go to Hadoop environment and core site we have HD, HDFS site yarn is here map reduces here so all these files one by one we will be editing so we will first go to this one so how to go this is the first file we have to edit and this is just by using this command sodo git edit I will copy this and paste it here yeah yeah it is opening this file for me and uh, you come to the end of this one here see friends yeah I have already copied the files these are the export you have to copy these things I will take the copy of all of them control C and then I will come to this file and see here whatever we have we have to uh, sorry yeah these are the things I have to replace so this is the GDK what we have installed and these are the other configurations all the things will be like that so just you save it and then close it and for showing whether it has any error or not you just use this command control C I'm using and then I will paste it here if it has any error or 
something it will give us error but it has no error so it is correct no problem so now what we have to do I'm coming to the second file and I will edit this file also so in this file what we have to do we just change this one Java home and we have to give this path for that from here I got this just if you go to here and I Java if you remember in here we have a version it is showing me the version of my this one GDK or Java compiler now if you want to read the link so you can use like read link and here you say if and here we have user bin and then Java so here this is the path friend so you can copy the path or uh, I have already copied and it is here I will just copy this one and paste it there in the file so copy and then I have sorry I have to go to this one first open the file okay paste it here yeah the file is opened and then you come to and find the Java home so let's see here it is Java home here what do we have to do we have to copy the file from there and paste it here sorry the the path so this is the path frame I will control C or copy and then you come to this file and instead of this one you remove this and paste that here yeah this is Java home so I am saving it and then closing right now you come to the third file so the third file what we have to do before opening the file we have to create a folder they are called temp folder this is required we have to create a directory so for doing that I am using this one you go to app folder then Hadoop is here and within that Hadoop you create a temp folder I am using this command make directory so control C here I come and paste it here right yeah the folder is created now I want to change the ownership it means I want to allow my HD user to access the folder or directory so for that I'm using change ownership and giving the permission for my user so for that I'm using this command and pasting it here right yeah now the user has full permission to read and write to that directory so now I will come and open this file control C and then here I will clear the screen friends then you will be to see the reason now yeah here we have the file and here we have the two tags configuration and configuration tag is closed within this what we have to do you come to this file and you take the copy of this one from here to here I say control C or copy and then you come to here and paste it within this open and close tag and now save the file close it right yeah this much only you come to the fourth file we have to change so here before opening the file which is this file opening this we have to do these things first we have to create a directory called name node then another directory called data node and we have to give the permission to this directory and give the permission for this directory also so how can we do I will just copy this and create the directory okay yeah I created the directory within user then local then Hadoop store and HDFS I created that so the same directory in the same directory I will create data node also so data node is also created now we have to give the permission of reading from that so I just copy this and paste it here right so the permission is also granted I will use this one also I will give the permission of this one also for my user yeah the permission is granted now we have to open the file control C and you come here 
let me clear the screen and here I will paste it and run the file is opened and here within this configuration what we have to do I come here and take the copy of this file what we have here sorry the tax copy and here I will paste it all right so here you can see the number of replication friends it is one you can change it but now you cannot change it since I'm using single server it will be by default one otherwise if you are using multiple servers then you can change the number of replications to two three four five like that so this is the directory of name node what we created earlier so this is the directory of data node so we paste it here save this and close it right now come to the fifth file this is my fifth file and uh, I will open it it has no problem just by using the command control C I will open the file right XML file so this is the configuration you can here and you take the copy of this and paste it there right yeah I will paste it here so I will save it and then close it and the last file what we have here is this one map reduce file and before going to opening the file here XML file of that we have to create a copy or we have to take a copy of this file also and store it in another file called the same file just with extension of tempt only that I'm copying the same file and put it in another file called tempt so here I will do this and before that it will not have the permission I will use here the sudo command also it will be better yeah now the file is created now we can change it this one we can change because we have already copied to this one now I can change this file control C and here I come and clear the screen first and then I will paste it and run it the file is opened we have configuration here right and then you come here and just copy this one control C and here you paste it and then save it right yeah save the file and close it we did all the configuration friends that's all let's do the final steps here what we have so format the new Hadoop file system now we created the name node we have to format that it is very simple this is the command you say Hadoop and the name node and then use the format yeah clear then I say Hadoop name node name node and then I'm using format it will be formatting that but one thing you have to remember friends you have to format this folder or directory only once you don't have to format every time only once you have to format this and then we have to store the services and for starting the services or Hadoop services there are two options just one is like using this command start slash all dot sh it will be starting all the services it means HDFS services and also your services otherwise you have to if you if you want to install uh, sorry run manually so this is like HDFS services and this is for your services whether you you want to use this one or you want to use this one if you want to start at at once all the services you use this command so what I say I say okay start slash all then sh and now it will be starting starting the name node starting the uh, resource manager data node all these services will be running if there is no problem in configuration if problem is there so maybe one of them or two of them will be missing there right now in order to see whether all the services are running or not to checking 
to check that what we have to do we have to go to this directory or directly you can also use this one command gps in this gps stands for java virtual machine process status tool so this one also you can use directly or you can go to this directory and then run it from there also now i will clear the screen and then i will say okay change directory you go to user then local then we have hadoop right hadoop, hadoop right and then what we have then we have s benizia yeah and there now i will be using java virtual machine process that is tool this one gp is and running and see yeah friends the configuration is correctly done there is no problem we have all the services we have here name node uh, sorry node manager data node name node and we have resource manager and secondary name node if you remember these are the services of hadoop and we said the services of hadoop is nothing but the services of its components and hadoop has two main components hdfs and yarn so hdfs services this one is name node data node these and secondary name node these three services related to hdfs resource manager and we have node manager these are the two services related to your so it means all the services are running hadoop is installed and configured well there is no problem so you have to follow all the steps what i did one by one then there will be not pro any problem otherwise you will be facing some problems now in order to access this on the browser what we have to use so how to access hadoop through url and for that so just you open the url browser so then here you just copy this one local host and that is the default port number you just use that port number here right yes friends it is configured through we have all the information related to our hadoop here the port number it is showing here started the time the, the date the time the version of hadoop compiled cl cluster id is given here block pool id is given here the summary of everything is uh, security is off save mode is off here everything the uh, informations related to our hadoop environment they are giving us so this is can okay configured capacity here dfs used so one by one you have to refer and if you want to study and read about these things you go through all of them so here name node journal status here everything so journal manager and status then we have here name node storage right so if i go here like here also you can go to the data nodes here it will be having these informations you read and go through of them so if i come to here utilities and then i say browse the file system which are the files which uploaded files so here it is empty it means we have not uploaded any file yet to hadoop environment it is empty and the next videos i'm going to up upload the files and you will be seeing the files here also so i'm closing this friends and this was a uh, hadoop installation and configuration i hope you understood all these things you have to follow i will upload this file also for you friends you just follow the steps what i did and then you will be not missing anything and configuration will be okay otherwise if you miss any step and you do any uh, mistake so then it will be not configured so i hope you understood friends then we talked about the different types of installation friends we said we have standalone installation sodo distributed environment or installation in fully uh, install uh, distributed installation we cannot do this because we have only single server i did this one for you it means it is sodo distributed installation it is nothing but uh, a, a simulation of this one or we can say it is a virtual fully distributed environment on a single server
so we did all the installation so i will here yeah the last step if you want to close the services and stop the services what you have to do just by typing the stop slash all then sh it will be stopping all the services this you have to do friends otherwise the pc or the server will be so much busy at the end you have to stop the services so it is showing us here stopping the name node local host stopping the name node data node uh, resource manager they all will be all stopping yeah node manager is stopped resource manager is also stopped your diamonds are also stopped so all the services are stopped now you can use the exit command so exit everything is correctly done i hope you understood this much friends